salvation, and no other name. Suppose while playing outside, you touch some poisonous weeds. Later, your hands itch and have red bumps. Your problem gets worse each day, so your mother brings you to the doctor. The doctor checks your hands and says, I see you have a problem. This medicine will take away your problem. Just rub it on the spots two times a day. But you say, I don't think I like that medicine. I'm just going to rub grape jelly on my hands. I like grape jelly better. Do you think the grape jelly would take care of the problem? No, you can't just make up your own way to take care of your problem. You must use the right medicine. You have to trust the doctor. You may not have itchy bumps on your hands, but you do have a problem, a very serious problem. That problem is sin, and there is only one way to fix it. El Elyon, the Most High, made one way to fix the sin problem. It is Jesus, the Lamb of God. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Acts 4.12 Because God is the Most High, He has the right to decide the way to be saved from sin. He is wise, and Jehovah Elamet always tells the truth. He has said that Jesus is the only way to be saved from the punishment for sin. To fix the sin problem, you have to trust God. Only Jesus can change sinful hearts. Zacchaeus was a rich man. He was a tax collector, and his job was to take the tax money from people. But he took more money than he was supposed to take. He kept some of it for himself and became rich. He was greedy and unfair, and he lied. Most people did not like Zacchaeus, but Jesus did. Jesus loved Zacchaeus even though Zacchaeus was a sinner. When Jesus visited Zacchaeus' town, what do you think he did? He looked right at Zacchaeus, who was sitting in a tree, and said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Luke 19.5 Most people didn't want to be around Zacchaeus, but Jesus wanted to visit with him. Zacchaeus welcomed Jesus. He was so glad Jesus wanted to come to his house. He could see that Jesus loved him. After visiting with Jesus, Zacchaeus wanted to give back not just the money he wrongly took, but even more money. Being with Jesus changed Zacchaeus' heart. Only Jesus can change sinful hearts. Only Jesus can fix the sin problem. Many people were angry that Jesus loved sinful people. And the Pharisees and their scribes grumbled at his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus answered them, Those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Luke 5, 30 through 32. The Lamb of God came so that sinners could have peace with God. Jesus came to give God's forgiveness to anyone who would believe that he is God's perfect Lamb and trust him for forgiveness of sin. Anyone who welcomes Jesus can be saved, even people like Zacchaeus, even sinners like you and me. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans ten thirteen. This means everyone, even sinners like the thief on the cross who believed in Jesus. Can you think of other sinful people in the Bible who trusted Jesus for salvation? Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Learning to trust God. Read the story of another tax collector in Luke 5, 27 through 32. Who are the sinners? What does repentance mean? Pray for those who do not admit that they are sinners and are not trusting in Jesus for forgiveness. Make a prayer list and keep praying for these people. Activity. With your family, think of a way that you can tell the good news about forgiveness for sin. Pray for God's help in telling the story about Jesus' taking the punishment for sinners and then do it. Helper. Jesus left heaven to be born as a baby and then grow up to die for the sins of his people. But earth wasn't his real home. Heaven is his home. So after Jesus rose from the dead, he went home to heaven. Jesus knew the disciples would miss him. He knew his children would need to remember what he taught them. He knew all Christians everywhere would need help to fight sin. He knew sinful people would need to understand that they are sinners. He also knew his father had a good and wise plan for the world and his people. God the Father, who sent the Son to die, would also send God the Holy Spirit to help his people. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance all that I have said to you. John fourteen twenty six. Jesus promised that the Helper, the Holy Spirit, would come to help his people understand about God and his right way of living. His people need the Holy Spirit's help to tell other people about Jesus. Even though his people were sad that Jesus was going away, Jesus knew God's plan was good. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. John sixteen seven through 8 
Jesus had to go back to heaven so that he too could send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would show people that they were sinners and help them understand God's way of fixing the sin problem. Jesus told the disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit in the city of Jerusalem. So the disciples waited, and as God promised, the Helper came. They heard a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and the Holy Spirit came with power. The Helper, who helps the people understand about Jesus and sin, gave the disciples words in different languages. They were people from many countries in Jerusalem, and every person heard about Jesus in his own language. At first, the people were confused. What was going on? But Peter stood and started preaching. He told them that the Helper, the Holy Spirit, had come. He told them that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And he told them about Jesus, whom God had sent, and whom they had killed. Peter also told them the good news that Jesus rose from the dead. Peter preached, and the Helper did the work God had sent him to do. As Peter preached, the Holy Spirit helped the people understand they were sinners. Brothers, what shall we do? they asked. What do you think Peter told them? What would you say if someone asked you what to do about sin? Peter told them to repent, to turn away from their sin of not trusting Jesus. God would forgive their sins and give them the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. Acts 2.39 The people turned from their sin. They put their trust in Jesus. They received God's forgiveness and believed God's promise. The Holy Spirit came with mighty power for Peter to preach and for the people to turn from sin. And 3,000 people believed in Jesus that day. The promise to give the Holy Spirit is for all Christians everywhere. If you trust and love Jesus and want to obey him, the Holy Spirit will help you. The helper will help you understand the Bible. When you do something wrong and you know in your heart that it's wrong, maybe that's the Holy Spirit helping you. He helps you understand that sin is wrong and ugly and that God doesn't like it. Listen to the helper and turn away from sin. The Holy Spirit can show that you need Jesus. Learning to trust God. Read the story of the Holy Spirit's coming in Acts 2. Ask God to send the Holy Spirit to help you understand the Bible and trust in Jesus. Is the helper showing you any sin in your life? What should you do about sin? Ask God to give you a heart to turn away from sin. Activity. Make a booklet to explain the good news about Jesus. Include pictures and verses. Pray for God's help and use your booklet to tell someone about Jesus. Trust the Holy Spirit to work in that person's heart.